let's look at the anatomy of the pancreas and some of the associated organs around it. So this large structure right here, this is the pancreas. All of this is the pancreas. And you'll notice that the pancreas over here on the right is no longer the pancreas, obviously. The pancreas is associated with this structure, and this is the duodenum. The duodenum is the first portion of the small intestines. It makes up about 10% of your small intestines and is highly associated with digestion of food and the absorption of food as well. So the digestion of major macronutrients uh, nu nutrients, and the absorption of those macronutrients as well. So the liver has a main pancreatic duct and it has a accessory pancreatic duct that branches off to the side and each one of those ducts is going to empty via a sphincter into the duodenum. So the major function of the pancreas is actually produce digestive juices, all the digestive juices that help with the digestion of food. So your amylases, your proteases, your lipases and your nucleases, this is gonna make them in abundance and then it's going to empty them out into the duodenum where they help us digest our food. Where they end up coming together there's a small enlargement um, of this that I'm going to have to show on another model in just a second. There's a small enlarged space inside this wall that's called the hepatopancreatic ampulla. And that's going to store both pancreatic juice and bile from the liver until we need it, at which time the sphincter is going to relax and going to release those juices out into the duodenum. This is the other model that works really well to be able to show us the pancreas. It also shows the liver up above and the duodenum right here. So what I want you guys to notice with the model for this particular portion of the anatomy is that the main pancreatic duct comes down and joins this green duct that's descending from the liver. This is portion of our bile duct. And both bile and pancreatic juices are going to be stored in this enlarged space right here which is called the hepatopancreatic ampulla. And at the very end is a small muscular sphincter called the hepatopancreatic sphincter. All of these big ridges that you see inside the duodenum, those are plicae circularis. They increase the surface area that make it so that as we're digesting the food, we increase the rate of absorption. In addition, the plicae circularis are where we end up secreting a lot of local enterokinases that are going to finalize the digestion process. You guys will see this model again when we talk about bile production.